Okay, that's the telescope. There's a uh, 8-inch. So, hello, Dad. Hello. That's the telescope. That's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. But so uh 8 inch map um, on a sort of German equatorial mount, not as nice as the one in America, but uh, oh, sorry. Uh, sort of you know, three bricks in the grass to actually help us to sort of plump the thing down for the equatorial alignment. There's a box of eyepieces, and if I kill the light, you'll see that the oops, if I kill the light. Um, like that, you'll see that the telescope is pointing at Venus, and then up here we have the moon. If I sort out the uh, the exposure on the moon, oops, there we go. Turn it down as much as we can. You'll see the moon's a sort of half phase. If I turn it all that way up, you'll actually see the Earth shine on the dark side of the moon. Uh, anyway, so ignoring that, then we got Venus. Uh, are we on the tree yet? Oh, there, there we go. There's Venus. Uh, and from Venus, we go to the eyepiece. And you see. Again. Oh, can you do the focus for us, Dad? Yeah, that's good. Oh, either way, ignoring the chromatic aberration, that's the funny colour on one side and the you know, blue on one side. Oh, that's good. You see that Venus basically is the same shape as the as the Moon. Is I'm going to send it up, really. I'm going to go take a look at the mountains. Uh, and get warm, I will. Yeah, I think I might be following suit fairly short order. Oh, what's that? Oh, is that one of the rails? Oh, it's a sort of rail. <laughs> I don't recall seeing that one. It looks like a dagger, doesn't it? No. See if we can actually get the focus on that. Yeah, mm. it's a dagger, isn't it? Yep. Mm. Muslim dagger. I've never seen that before. <sighs> Just, oh, it'll be too long. Do you want the torch? No, nah, I'll be fine, thanks. Oh, there's still one there. Uh, I should just pull the plug out on the drive. Pull it. So here we have these three very characteristic craters whose name I've long since forgotten. And then the great thing about the moon is at different times of the, well, lunar days it turns out, or lunar month, it doesn't really matter which, they're the same, you can see different things. And just towards the Terminator, I can actually hold the camera steady, there's something that looks fairly convincingly like a sword. But you only get to see these things for a relatively short period of time when they actually cast shadows, after that you sort of lose them lose them in the uh, yeah, the, the brightness as so you go towards the well, as you get towards mid down the moon of course there are no shadows but let's see what we can zoom in, zoom in, zoom in there we go oh look at that, oh fuck yeah oops 
And a little more light, please. There you go. Welcome to the surface of the moon. It's actually pretty good seeing again. Yeah, I'd say it's not swimming around too much. In fact, on this magnification, I'm going to try and find... Actually, first of all, let's go up to the... Oh, this is good seeing. That's like uber magnification there. So I'm just going to pan across the moon now. I think that's him there. That's the scimitar. On sort of full blow up, and then just off to the side, we have these these very characteristic three craters, almost in the middle of the moon, almost in the middle of the moon. You know, three craters, one sort of merging onto the next. And if I zoom out, you'll see what I mean. Um, Oh, just wait for me to get the contrast for a second. It's these three really fairly dominant craters in the middle of the moon. Um, okay. It's a long time since I looked at my uh, lunar chill. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? All along. Oh, there's an anchor! Ah. <laughs> it's an anchor or a crossbow. One or the other. Let's see how much we can zoom in on that. Long way. There we go. There's the crossbow or longbow on the moon or anchor or, well, something. Here we need a bit of focus. So all that shimmer there is actually um, the atmosphere moving around. Uh, let's come back. I want to line up that image some. Fascinating. Okay. 